Hey everybody, it's JL. Uh, super pumped. We uh, got Douglas Heel coming over in May. Uh, it's been a super long time coming. Uh, Douglas, super excited to be able to spend time with you again, my man. Jeez, JL, three years where everything we've been doing is this, you know, and you yeah. and I have had since Columbus, which is about three years ago. Yep, uh, it is. Had a ton of conversation about what we want to do with this work. And now we're now yeah, I, getting there. Well, and I think, you know, for a lot of people, the number one question is, what is this work? And so, you know, that's something that I just, I thought would be great for you and I to hop on a conversation. Obviously, I've got you coming over here because, you know, and, and thanks, obviously, the, the travel from South Africa is obviously uh, not an easy, easy travel day, two days. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, so, so I really appreciate you, you know, giving that time away from your family to come and to teach this work and to build this because it is so impactful. Um, for me, when, when people ask, what is this work? Kind of what, what do you usually talk to them about? Well, I, I think the thing that I, I always want to stress to start with is like when, when I first started teaching Be Activated, we had a whole lot of really cool techniques and they were amazing and did amazing things. We still have those and more. But as, as I started teaching and, and, and learning myself, it, it more developed into a philosophy that drives the technique. And, and the real basis of the work is the body is amazing. And when you do the right thing, the body will respond immediately. And so we, if, if we take everything from that basis, we can actually say, this is what's going on. How do I get from here to here? And, and you can almost like saying to the body, hey, is this what you need? And the body doesn't respond. So the answer then would be a no. But if we're giving the body what it needs, it responds really quickly. And so it's quite easy to use measurable strength and power and flexibility. But there are a whole lot of other things that we see in people's lives. And so, so be activated is, is a way of saying, giving the body what it needs and meeting the body's priorities and watch how amazing the body is and how quickly it changes. And I think it, for me, it was driven out of frustration for all that I learned as a, as a physical therapist. Um, it, it wasn't enough for me because it just didn't make enough sense. They, like we were doing recipes and we were doing stuff. Hey, you got it this, we do that. And I, I, I think we're far more intelligent than, than just a system of recipes. And when I started playing and testing and learning, always learning, um, you find that there are better ways to do things. And so Be Activated is really the culmination now of over 20 years of working, teaching. I've, I've been teaching this for over 18 years. And uh, how long ago did I, you and I meet? Five years? Four years? Five years. Well, I think, I mean, COVID, so you kind of, you lose a year and then, uh, <laughs> yeah, then you lost a lot more than one. <laughs> yeah. It's been, uh, it's been six years. Yeah. It's been yeah. six years. So, 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 you know, you use the word impactful before. So, so if I said a simple question, JL, was learning be activated impactful in your life? Well, I, I think, I don't know if you remember, but when we were at dinner after the clinic, I, I told you six years ago, this is the most impactful thing I've learned since I learned about West Side Barbell and Conjugate. And I said to you, two years later, after learning about that, I was living in Columbus, Ohio, and I had my name on that record board. And I don't know if you remember, but I won't forget it. You said to me, well, don't fucking move to South Africa. I do. So, <laughs> <laughs> So I, I think it's awesome. I knew, I mean, literally, you know, from the first time I went through the course, I, I, like you said, when you give the body what it needs, the changes are immediate. And when they've needed them for a long time, they're not just immediate, but they're massive. Yeah. And I think for people to understand this work, I think one thing that's really, it took me a long time to understand was when I learned this, it, to me, be activated, it became the solution to everything because it had done so much for me. 
However, as I got into work and, you know, you and I, like we've talked, I mean, obviously we've spent an immense amount of time together over the last six years, uh, obviously not as much in person as, <laughs> as we would like, but, but a ton, just like what we are now. And for me, what really got me to the next level was understanding that be activated is the foundation. And so it makes everything, all the other methods that you learn when you were a physio and all these other pieces, it makes all of those more effective and more efficient because now we've set a good foundation before doing the other work. Absolutely. You know, it, it, it's kind of interesting because obviously when we look at the world and where it's at right now, there's some very interesting dynamics and conversations going on. And mental health has become a really big conversation around the world. And what we're finding is in our community, a lot of people are feeding back who, who are working in those areas that this becomes the foundation to almost energize the body, strengthen the body. And then suddenly when you're having the conversations with the mind, the mind seems more able to do the work because the body is able to carry through on that. And, and that's amazing. You know, like, uh, in the bank, I always knew that was possible. But but when you put things into action, then you start to see actually this is, this is tangible and serious. Because what we want to do is we want to be helping people be in the best place possible. And and for example, if 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 my body's in in a traumatized state, then yeah, we could probably be calling on ninety percent of the world right now. Until we actually believe we are able to get out of it, no matter how clever we think. If our physical state does not believe, like it's an energy, it's an energy crisis. Actually, the energy is my brain saying, "Listen, I'm not going to give you anything to go and jump up and down ten times, because I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. So I need to hold on, like a squirrel. I need to hold on to everything I've got just in case winter's coming." And and so we suddenly find that everyone's getting stuck in their systems. We see it in athletes. We see it in our clients, our patients. Now the challenge is depending on where they are in that in, in the spectrum, they already came with all of their breakdowns and their burdens and their, their dysfunctions. Now you add another layer, another layer, another layer. And so we're all finding that our energy levels are lower. It's a little harder to get motivated, a little harder to get the drive on in a sense. And when we start to say, hey, buddy, what do you need? And we start to give that, the game changes. And, you know, it, it, it's a fascinating thing for me. I, I I've almost want to say I've been for the first time in a long time putting so much focus back into me and, and saying almost what would Doug do now onto me, not for everyone else. And the changes for me and my own self have been massive because the world is still in chaos. The world is still in crisis. It's just another day and another crisis. And that's what your body's taking in and responding to. And so if you know that the next 10 years, let's, let's say jail, hey, dude, sorry, the next 10 years, there's going to be another crisis and another crisis. We don't know what, what it is yet. And so instead of you going, I'm just waiting till it all calms down, we're going to actually say, let's go on the assumption it's never going to calm down or 10 next 10 years. Right. How do we best prepare you to function and thrive in that environment. That's it. And if we can do that, we, 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 we kind of, we, we engage in three different phases. We have the people who are in dysfunction that we want to bring out of dysfunction into like a functional state. We have people who are in a functional state who want to maintain themselves where they are. I don't want to diminish. I don't want to slide down that slippery slope. And then we get the other element, which are the ones that go, this is where I am. I want to get here. And so we use activation in all of those areas. And so it's, it's crazy. You and I have been spoke about the great opportunity for be activated is if you breathe and you move, you need this. And the, the great opportunity is the great curse because what do you say to everyone? Everyone needs to be doing this. Now, you and I, you and I both know we believe that, but, but actually what I'm giving to my grandmother is different to what I'm giving to my athlete not so much in the methodology and the technique, how it's applied, how the language and, and almost the, the premise around it changes. And when we start to do that, we see significant changes, significant shifts.
And that's what we're bringing, a framework and a structure. And then we want to allow you to be able to use that to influence the people that you work with, the people who are surrounded in your world, but most importantly, you. Yeah, and I think that's, to me, the real magic would be activated is that it isn't this, okay, here, you know, do this. If you see this, do this. It is that framework. And to me, that framework is about addressing an aspect of the human body that is just not addressed. And that comes down to that global neurological sequence. And when that's why it's foundation is because, you know, so many practitioners out there, right. They're doing great work. They're getting great results with people. But as, as we all know, anybody who's worked with anyone, you know, we see problem a on this person and we use all our thing and they get better and everything's wonderful and then we see the exact same problem oh, 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 a yeah, you forgot that we high five ourselves because we have to, yeah yeah you know, of course because we're awesome we, 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 yep, no, that's yep. we're human we're designed to do that and and that's the the issue and i think and then and then you bring that strategy to the next one and maybe you get a 50 percent, and you kind of do a little high five but you keep doing it and and along the way you noticed actually if we took a big step back and you did it with 10 people that strategy that worked for one didn't work for seven and the other two got kind of results. And then you go, oh crap. And the, and the problem is that we're not taught how to understand what the, like, so, so a young guy at Matt's school, good, good family friends, rugby player, wants to be in the first team squad, but struggling, you know, shin, calf issues, can't walk, can't run, can't do this. And, and you want to be in the first team. So eventually they're going to get bored and tired with you, aren't they? Because you keep coming to practice, you're committed. You just, the minute they start moving, you have to stand there and go, sure, I'm just going to pick up the information. And he had done all the therapies. His parents were dedicated, you know, everything that he needed, the latest machines on that area, the stretching, the fascia, the thising, the thatting. And eventually I was actually doing something with Matt's water polo team. And so I saw, I saw this young guy walking on the rugby field in his kit going, dude, you need to phone me. We need to do some work. And he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. And I came over to their house the next day. And I said to him, you might just die today. I'm just warning you because what you've been putting your body through has created this. And if you wanted to, change we're going to do some serious work and we did some serious work what was amazing was as we ran through the story assessed his body he was literally textbook level one he would be what we call a three 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 leg and so the, his his calf and his shin were driving his hip what it also means is he gets a shoulder instability on the other side so halfway through the assessment i go how how are you managing to hide the shoulder instability and his eyes are like how did, did my mother tell you about that? I said, no, page 10, level one manual, it's right there. You, you are textbook. But here's what's so interesting. And this is, this is, again, when we go and we look at the world and the bigger picture and the pressure. 17, 18-year-old kid who for two years is not able to, because of, because of the world situation, participate in sport, do all the social interactions, all of the things, they're able to do it at a certain level. But, but it's not, nothing's normal. So then you go and you try and get back to normality and you underestimate this extra pressure on the system. So guess what? So his, his range of his calf or for, for every, anyone listening, his calf um, was minus three degrees. No wonder he's in pain and struggle. We, we started step one with his breathing system. He went from minus three to 10 and I didn't touch his cough. Then we went into the rest of zone one. And by the time we'd completed zone one, the psoas and the glute, the calf was now at over 20 degrees. And when he got up and started walking, he's like, wow, that's amazing. I've got no pain. I feel like running. And when someone says, I feel like running, what do we say? Open invitation. So go run. You know, it, it's for six weeks, you've not been able to run. The minute you try and initiate movement, you have pain, your body says you need to stop. Suddenly he's running. 
we did more. We want to integrate the whole system. But what was wonderful is yesterday I was back doing stuff with the water polo guys and, we, and Matt and I drive up and there's the kid at rugby practice, literally he's a line out jumper, jumping into the air and then being supported. So he's like four meters high now. Not He didn't do the whole jump, but for him to initiate that jump, guess what he needed? And he and, and, and that's, that's what we're talking about. So the therapists that he had been seeing, and he two, three times a week for six weeks, doing exactly what they were trained to do. They weren't doing anything wrong. They were doing what they were trained to do. But what we were not taught to do was ask better questions. Why is the body doing this in the first place? So when we can understand that and address that, jail, then the game changes. Because then you take away the reason for the dysfunction in the first place. That's what we're looking for. Yeah. And, and that, I think, would be activated. The thing I tell everybody when they come in is they explain what's going on. And they say, you know, I have shin splints or whatever that issue is. And I said, awesome. You're very aware of the symptom. With be activated, we are not concerned with treating the symptom. We are concerned with finding and eliminating the cause of the symptom. That's a, that's, that's and, a, and that to me, the framework that you teach and be activated that al has allowed me to identify the cause of issues, it, it's been so amazing the amount of changes from- But, but it's a people, ridiculous game change, isn't it? And, and, and we know that oh, we hear people over and over, but this is a game change. And we kind of go, well, we know. But, but, but the thing is that, so, so, so I think what's a big thing is if we can create the mind shift, the actual physical work that we do with our clients isn't that difficult to do. It's the mind shift of the understanding. And so you don't have to go and throw everything that you've ever learned out because there's a whole lot of that that's really valuable if we can put it in the right sequence and the right place. And, and that's the amazing thing. I, I, well, wanna, I, I actually yeah. want to share something with you because when things pop yeah. into my head, I have to say. Yeah. So, so yesterday I was back with the water polo guys and I was doing individual quick sessions with them while they were doing their training. And, we, and I think it was six boys um, in, in about just over an hour. And about three of them were going, why does the water feel different? And I kept thinking of you after Yo. Columbus. So I, yeah. because you see, we can talk about being stronger and faster and all of this, but can you in a very quick story, share your experience of water? Well, yes, I think that will be difficult for people who have not gone through be activated or no, I, want, I want it to be difficult i want it to be so strange a, com a story that you tell that people go that's bullshit i i, I want that i don't want yeah. you to make it nice i want i don't want you to try and explain yeah. i won't understand well i i think the the place i'll start with that is after the first four days i with you i called my wife from the airport and i said hey babe what's up and she responded with what's wrong with you <laughs> yeah and do, going through the be activated course had changed what was going on in my body so much i honestly the reason i said this is the most impactful information i've learned since learning about powerlifting and west side was because my body not only felt amazing, but from a mental place, I, I don't think I'd ever been that relaxed, that calm, that grounded. And so when I said, hey, babe, what's up? I was so grounded, she didn't even know who I was. She thought someone else it, picked up your phone. <laughs> she, she kept asking what was wrong with me, what happened, because hey, even babe, though- no blood sugar or something. <laughs> in five words. And so the reason I, I preface that is that this work is, is so impactful that it's not even about what I feel in the water. It's that in five words, my wife heard a completely different person and couldn't understand it. 
Okay, so, so now, now we're going to jump forward. So if we take from that moment and we jump forward by three and a half years, then, yep. then you and I ran, ran a four-day program in Columbus. We spent about six days together. Yep. And as, as we were loving and kissing each other goodbye at the airport, I said to you, when you leave the airport, I need you to go get into your pool because you are that different. And, you need, and, and of course, you didn't listen. So obviously, I didn't kiss you well enough. Um, yep. But I had to remind you, and I think it was the next day when you you, yeah. went and you jumped in the pool. And you've jumped yeah. in the pool, swimming pool. You have a swimming pool. You know what it feels yeah. like. What happened? Yeah. I mean, we have a swimming pool in our backyard, right? So it's, it's, it's something that I'm very familiar with, what it feels like when I jump in the water. And essentially what it felt like was nothing. For me, swimming had always been this very difficult, it, it was so I just kind of chalked it up to ah, I'm not much of a swimmer. I could swim, but not much of a swimmer. I jumped in the pool and all of a sudden the way I moved in the water was completely different. It was easier to swim, not because obviously we taught swimming in the be activated course, but because I could actually feel the water moving over my body. When I was moving through the water, the water, I felt it pressing against me and any time I had been swimming before that I was basically just thrashing around because I couldn't feel the resistance from the water it's as funny, I was moving funny, I can picture water. you thrashing around but I can't I can't really picture you gracefully swimming through the water but aside, well, let's, aside let's, from hey, that whoa 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 <laughs> I didn't say graceful I didn't say graceful I said it was better right like you can't so, turn but, chicken but, but I think I think you know, the reason why, why I like that story is when our system is in a dysfunctional state, it takes away all non-essential functions. And feeling what the water feels like is a non-essential function. And particularly in a pattern that you had where I'm going to go and smash into the world, one of the most essential things your body can do is numb and disconnect you to that. So it disconnects you and it diminishes how much pain you feel, but it diminishes everything. And your story well, is not unique. And so it's, it, it was your body's strategy on day dot. Whatever that day was, it decided in order to overcome this world I live in, this, this trauma that I'm experiencing, this uh, hell, teacher that I'm in, this is what I have to do in order to manage and survive through the state and so it develops a strategy and then it forgets that that's a strategy it's chosen and in a short space of time this strategy that your body is doing is now normal and each strategy has a sacrifice but because we don't know that we're doing it we just go oh it's always been that way it's just who i am it's not it's not me it, it's, 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 it's just how I am. It's, it, and and, and the, the, the thing about physiology and the neural system and, the, and it, it's actually, the question is not, it is, but maybe it's not actually. And so as we start to expand the system, which is what your body's been doing, everything starts to change. And so we get strange things like, oh, geez, the water feels different. And when I'm working with water polo players who are in the water like five times a week, that's a big deal. And I think it's the. So I suppose the, I want to say that, you know, actually the question was, what is be activated and what would we teach you in four days? This is the stuff we want to, we, we want to teach you a framework in order to understand the body and then work with the body through these things. So you can find the amazingness that's hidden in the body. And so you, you, you get to find the energy and the excitement in your work. And, and obviously, as we always talk, it's really important that we also take care of you first. So we get you understanding this through your own body, as you said, you know, four days and your and, and your wife didn't recognize you. It I actually think it was two days. You were the first time we met, it was two days. Yeah, yep, yep. Yes. Yep, that's correct. And, and and so what happens is the more you feel it in your body, it's far easier to talk to other people about it because you're already having your own experience. And you know, from a physio perspective, there's a whole lot that I've learned that I would be doing with my client that I have no friggin' idea what it's doing because nobody ever cared how did it feel. It was like, we're doing this technique to align that because it's skewed. Yeah, but what does the client think? It doesn't matter what the client thinks. The, the sacrum skew, so we're going to, you know, dot, 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 dot. But when we understand why the body's doing that, 
and what the client is feeling. And we can, we can influence and change and get the body to support the change. Beautiful things happen. So, so the goal of the game really is that when you've done two days, four days, and we're doing four days on this round, when you've done four days, level one, level two, we want to have shown you and equipped you with an amazing set of skills in order to understand the body differently and have techniques to interrupt, disrupt the system, to reset the system into the best place possible. And so whether someone is in dysfunction and you want to bring them back to normality, in normality and they want to be in maintenance or in this place and they want to get there, we want to give you a way to do that. Now, I'm, I'm probably, I'm, I'm, I'm just hyped now. So I'm going to say, and this yeah. time, you and I are doing it differently. So we're doing four days. I've done that for 18 years. And you and I, after this whole, all this time, we've been going, how can we do it better? How can we help people integrate was our word over and over. Yep. So what yep. you and I have decided is we are adding an eight week integration series after the four days in order that, that you can almost relax on the four days and you can just absorb instead of going, oh shit, what if I forget this? You go, it's okay if I forget this because I've still got eight weeks of online integration with Doug and JL and everyone else on the course where we are going to revisit the, my, the milestones that we covered in the course. And we're going to make sure that at the end of eight weeks, you are really clear and confident and competent in doing this work and how you integrate it in your life and how you integrate it into your business if you so choose. Well, and, and this really, this has been a culmination of the last six years yeah. because for me, you know, for those who aren't familiar with me, you know, my big thing is I love mastery, whatever it is, right? I, I learned about powerlifting as a sport and two years later, I was one of the strongest people in the world. To me, I want to not be a mile wide and an inch deep. I want to be a, an inch wide and a mile deep. And so when I felt the changes that I had from going through the Be Activated Clinic, I, I had to know more. I had to learn. And as I went through and, and other people that I knew went through the course, the piece that was that difficult was not going through the course was always amazing. The piece that I had a challenge with, that, that other people I knew had a challenge with, was that time frame from I went through the course to now I understand and have integrated that information in a way where when someone walks in and I'm watching them walk and I understand that global neurologic sequence and I'm seeing it, I know and I can test them and I can find that cause of that issue. And so to me, this course really you know, it was in the back of my mind. And then what really drove it forward was, was my sister going through the work. Yeah. yeah. And, and, well, and well, I mean, it's funny, isn't it? Because, because you and I were talking about this for two years, we were looking at how, how do we make the education? You know, be, be, okay, so, so the simple thing, and, and, and it's, you know, people are going to say, Oh, what an arrogant bugger I am. The Be Activated learning process is about the most incredible thing you will ever do in your life. Agreed. But, 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 but here, here, here's the thing. Some people walk out of a clinic and they go and they got it and they implement immediately. And we almost go, holy shit, how did you do that? You, you took it all in. It's a very small number. Most people... There's so many things that happen. We challenge so many paradigms and we have so many experiences that you almost come out of it and you go, woohoo, oh geez, now what? And, and what we want to do, what we decided is that's where we want to meet you. When you go, now what? We say, hey, you know, week one, module one, let's just check in where you are. Then we're going to, and so it's a consolidation phase. Then, well, but I would even say though, it doesn't matter because I was that person who took it and went, I'm all in every single yeah. day. I'm, I'm, I'm doing this. I'm grabbing people. I'm, I was that person. And for me, even, you know, we're six years in and we'll have conversations where I go, Oh, I, you know what? I've, I've been missing that. 
And so there's, there's such a value, whether you're the person who this is your first time learning about be activated and you're coming because you want to be a better practitioner. You, you just want to feel better and not as stressed out, right? Whatever that reason is that you're yeah. coming, that integration course is, is going to move you forward so much. On the other side, you might have gone through four or five courses and what we have planned and designed in this integration course, it doesn't matter if you're the, I'm not sure what this is, or if you're the, I am a be activated veteran, the way we've designed it, it will move you forward tremendously. So I, I'm super that's, excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm super and, and I think, I think that's it. it, it, it it's, and, and, you know, I, I was mentioning to you earlier today that, that for me, one of the, the big things that happened just before lockdown. So in the south of England, we ran a Parkinson's study, four day study, 10 Parkinson's patients. And those four days were actually quite remarkable. And so where everyone ended off, we were all like, oh, my God, we're going to go change the world. This is this is incredible. And I got on a plane and I flew back to Cape Town. And three days later, three days later, we understood that lockdowns were coming and lockdowns started happening. And really, when we looked at the study side, we were like, oh, crap, this is not what we wanted because we wanted to make sure that we're OK. Da, da, da. And all we had was what we're doing. But here's what was really important. And this is what, what Sue, who, who drove the study, what she did so well is everyone was put on a group, a, a WhatsApp group. And so they made a decision to meet once a week on a Friday morning online on a Zoom and have a WhatsApp group to keep communicating. And actually what we found out to support each other, because you're going to have good days and you're also going to have bad days. That's not just Parkinson's. That's called life. And when you have bad days, when you have people who understand who you are and understand your journey and you go Ugh, and they go, it's all right, you know what? And, and they, they can support you. Here's what was crazy when all the dust settled and lockdowns are closed, like over and, and people started coming out. Sue was going, it's kind of crazy. Most and we call them the Parkineers, by the way, they're the Parkinson's pioneers. The Parkineers were better then we Very left good. them after the four days. The four days was remarkable. They then went through this massive crisis, this most people that didn't have a serious, like just a, a challenge like Parkinson's, didn't make it through, didn't do well. These guys did amazingly. Not all of them. Seven out of 10 were better than after, we, after our four days. And, and, and for me, that was amazing because that made me go, I wonder where else that applies. And that idea of have a powerful experience and then have a community movement through to support each other in the learning where we help facilitate. And at some point, we can step out. Well, and <clears throat> that really reminds and We chose me eight this. weeks. <laughs> Well, and, and that just reminds me of a conversation I've had and, and part of what goes into, you know, you, you stated, and, and I wholeheartedly agree that going through and learning be activated, I mean, it, it shifted so many paradigms that I had on how the human body functions. And yes, that is powerful. But one of my favorite sayings is if information was valuable, then libraries would be the richest place on earth. Mm. It's not learning, be activated. Yes, it's cool. It's awesome. It's all this, you get to see these amazing results and these instant changes that are crazy. That's a cool experience. But the value isn't in going through the course and learning. The value is utilizing be activated. And so that is the purpose of the course after is making sure that you can leave and utilize yeah, yeah, yeah. everything you learned in that amazing. That's experience. that's spot on. So so we want to make sure that we are holding holding your hand. We're we're making sure that you've got as much as we can give you. And and so if you know it, it is such an amazing thing because 
if 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 you can relax into the experience because i know people go so much happens I, I, i'm i'm stressed because i might not see it all and 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 you know the goal of the game is don't try and see it all because you won't you know it, it's quite interesting because in my in my last newsletter one of the things i said you know i'm in in march i'm back in the uk and i'm going to be in um belfast and then liverpool and then london and and nuno is coming to join me in london and nuno has been doing this work forever and ever and ever. He's probably done 20 level ones. And yes, he's helping me, but we have a conversation at the end of every workshop because we have a deal. The minute he didn't learn something, he's gonna stop coming. It's really important. And so he's not there because he's my friend. He's there because he's there to learn. And so the, the, the amazing part about the layers within the work, there are so many layers and someone will come and, and go, well, I've already done level one. And then they'll go do level one again. And they go, whoa, geez, I didn't see that. Yeah, because the last time you were getting the, the lay of the land, once you knew the lay of the land, you could see a bit more detail. The next time you see even more detail. What we want to do is we want to see if we can give you the lay of the land and make sure that foundation is so good that you can start to, to, to paint some of the other detail in. And so you can really use and, and integrate this work into your own life and then into your business and in the way you work with your clients, you know, what, whoever your clients are, whether you're a trainer, whether, whether you're a therapist, whether you're a chiro, a doctor, you know, we, we work with all of these people. We have counselors going through this. We have, you know, so, so it's almost like we're life coaches. And, and how do you integrate to empower people to go beyond? That's, well, that's the fun part. That's and that's what that's the problem well, we're trying to solve. How to how to upskill people and give you more. This is the best way. Well, and I think you know if you've been using Be Activated for a long time, obviously you figured a lot of this out already, yeah. right? And so you know this is something that, like you said, you're still going to get some things that you're missing. And if you've been doing Be Activated for a long time in that community, you become a bit of an experienced share person because there's going to be people who don't have any. And one of the things we all know is that sometimes when we're experienced, hearing that lens of someone who's never done it before teaches us just as much as our experience sometimes. Uh, uh, absolutely. And, and, and you know what, that's one of the joys of teaching is, is I'm very clear that when I'm teaching, I'm learning too. It's, it, and, and, and the minute I'm not learning as I teach, so I've got to, I've got to keep my system open. And you know, you know what was quite interesting is, so, so I did my first like tr international travel um, in November, December, going Denmark, Scotland, UK. And it was quite amazing as I started in Denmark, where I would have said to you, I was in a good place. I was strong. I was very aware of the chaos going on around me. There was a ton. That was when variants and closures and, and, and South Africa, we were the bad guys in, in the equation. Actually, we were the guys who found it, not the bad guys, but the answer. But, you know, welcome to the world. Um, that's another issue altogether. But but I actually could feel how much I had to uh, open to teach because I have to, I have to encompass all stories and all perspectives. Whereas what had happened in those two years of sitting at home, getting caught up in screens and narratives was no matter how much you think you're out there where I, I wasn't, I actually can't say where you were. I know I was, I was surprised by how small my narrative had become. And, and actually what's, what makes me pretty good at what I do is this. And it was amazing actually having to really, really stretch. And, and it was quite a, quite a wonderful thing that to, to uh, you know, as, as we started the course, actually I could feel my whole system almost like stretching out the cobwebs, not the teaching cobwebs, but the opening cobwebs. And the opening, is the opening of possibilities. Now in the physical state, we're talking strength and power and flexibility and endurance. In, in, in the, the mental, emotional state, you're starting to take more control of what you think, what you feel. 
and and control isn't like i'm controlling because it's definitely not that it's it's feeling strong and safe in what your body's doing and therefore you get to see the world differently you see greater possibilities greater opportunities greater solutions if you if there's only one answer then we're all fucked yeah. and so i truly believe what we what we need in ourselves what what we what i need for me is i need to see wider it makes me more compassionate to the to the craziness that's going on out there and it actually makes me far less stressed about it because if i can only see this narrow band which is my fight flight freeze it's a tough tough place i used to train athletes to take their opponents into this place because if you're my opponent and i don't care how much money you're being paid if i can take you from here to here i will beat you yep. you know it's that simple now i don't teach that anymore and, and and this is very important i don't teach people how to hack others i've stopped doing that it's mean and nasty and there's enough shit going on in the world anyway but what we want to do but is sometimes if we're you. hanging out and having some beers oh no that's that's different <laughs> that's different hey you remember that kid on the table tennis table that oh, was fun. ping pong yeah yep, yep, yeah yep. ping pong yeah and and, uh, and 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 but but we were teaching so that wasn't being mean we didn't hurt him we we did all of that and and i just said let me show you like when he came and said hey you guys do you mind if i play i said awesome and then i said to you watch this and and a, and a whole array of things went down and because you knew that's what that, that i had told you but we didn't tell him and when we did tell him he's like oh, how did you know that i always do this and, and and suddenly he was laying out his story and we, yet we were playing ping pong and, and 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 yet we were messing with his physiology and 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 so once once we did that we put him in a position to understand what happens to him on the table and can happen to him anywhere else you know and so when 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 my clients whether they're an athlete whether they they they're a husband wife business person kid in school they understand why their body's doing what it's doing they start to go I've got a little more control of this. You know, one, 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 one of the guys in a water polo yesterday, sorry, I'm gonna, I wanna throw this in because yes. it's important. He's in, in, in like the most aggressive position in the polo pool. And, and a water polo is, you know, rugby and, and, and American football, you guys think it's wild. No, water polo is, is another layer. It's, it's, it's quite something. There's no padding, then these silly little speedos, you, you take the hits. And, and, and he said to me, Tough, strong guy, tough guy. He said, I, the minute I feel I'm being dominated by my opponent, I can feel that I lose it. And I, and I really, I'm much more talented than this. And that, it's amazing. 17 year old guy going, this is why I'm not playing to my potential. Not I'm not strong enough, make me swim faster, harder, whatever. It was awesome. And what's so interesting is my wife, in the game before had actually pointed him out and said she's he's dirty and he's not what happens it means that his opponent had dominated him and in his strategy to try and survive he started doing things and what was so awesome is the kid recognized his his situation and when i mentioned that he almost got embarrassed almost i know when i feel helpless or threatened i all i have is fight so I fight. And, and so because it's accepted in his position, nobody calls him out on it. But, the, but what I said to him, what happens if you wanted to choose something different? He goes, there is no different. I said, excellent. Now we can do our work. And an and amazing kid. And, and what was so exciting for me yesterday was like for a kid like him, this is not just water polo. This is life. You know, if, okay. if you're, if, 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 yeah, what you know, if if every if if you have a hammer in your hand, everything in life looks like a nail. You know, mm -hmm. what happens if you don't want to use the hammer? You know, drink a glass of wine with a hammer, you'll never get there. <laughs> well, and I think every you know what you were talking about with the water polo player is what's so great about the be activated course is that when you learn the philosophy and when you learn the framework. As you're applying that to yourself, you're getting better. You're applying that to your clients, 
not only are they getting better, but you're teaching them the philosophy and the framework, which means now they're not just getting better when they're on the table or in your office. They're out and now just like that water pole, but they have an understanding of what's going on and they can make better choices in the world, whether that physical, mental, whatever that is. And, and, and with that awareness, when they come back, they go, wow, I was doing great. And then this happened and I lost it again. Excellent. You know, when you lost it, we can do that work. You know, it's, it, 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 there, there was a kid in the pool who had to get out because his calf, calf was cramping so bad. Uh -huh. So, so he was like, okay, please work with me. Guess what? The calf, the calf cramping was the easiest thing in the world, but it opened a conversation about his compensation pattern that the calf cramp itself took three seconds to stop. Because the body, the body was crying out saying, please stop using this pattern in the water. Because it, and, and so what was interesting is as we unlocked his system, his eyes were like this in the water, like, feel me, the way they tread. These kids are amazing. I'm not a water polo player. I can, I, I've never properly tried treading. I know it's one of the, on my bucket list, um, I've got a time frame to do stuff. It's one of the things, get the treading right. I've never played water polo. What these kids, what these guys are doing, what these women are doing is amazing. But, they, but, but sometimes they're working too hard to achieve something and it never had to happen. And so this kid suddenly switched on. It was amazing. So my, my yesterday afternoon, was it fun? Oh, yes. Because I was invited to, to do what I love doing. And, and, and really it is to show someone, show people just what's in their body. This is what's in the way. Let's get it out the way. When that's out the way, who the hell are you now? And sometimes it comes with like an absolute aggressive shot in the goal, to the goal. Other times it's the guy looks around and goes, that's really weird. I can see all my teammates now. Hey, you can see them. You mean you couldn't before? And they're like, right. geez, I thought I could, but no wonder I can't throw the ball cleanly to each one. I can't actually see them properly. Okay, right. that's called physiology. You know, the goalkeeper's kind of going, geez, that's so weird. When, 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 when Ollie is coming, he looks so aggressive. I go, Ollie, he's the most passive player in the world. He goes, Dougie's aggressive. Look at his eyes. And, 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 and so his physiology switched on his eyes. And then suddenly this monster shot is coming in. And you go, hmm, interesting. So when you find the right thing, the body responds immediately. You know, I, I really, I'm a kid playing again. I've, I've taken the time to put energy back into me. Now that energy is back into me, my system is happy as a pig and shit. And so it's so easy for me to say, of course, I'd like to help. How may I serve? How may I do this? When I'm, my energy system is low, and it has been, and people go, oh, can you do this? It's like, uh, folks, can you please just fuck off? Uh, like, I'm tired of looking after you all now. Right now, I feel exactly the opposite. It's like, it's so, uh, what, what was that I was saying to Amy last night? I feel a little bit like Jim Carrey, yes man, when, when in the movie where yeah, yeah, got, yeah. You, know, you do this motivational thing, you got to say yeah. yes man to everything. I kind of feel like people say, oh, can you do this? Of course I can. And it's like, whoa, where did all that energy come from? I've started properly, like consciously applying what I teach proper, proper proper like and using everything that I know which is always don't throw away what you know we don't want to throw it away I I used to do something 20 years ago I used to teach something 20 years ago that I had thrown away and I've reintegrated it and that made all the difference well the one thing that I want to wrap up with because this is something that comes up all the time and obviously you have exponentially more experience with it mm. when you talk about having the energy and people are right now there's so much weighing on people in general i think just overall stress and information so when people are looking and saying okay i i don't i've never gone through be activated I, I think maybe i'd like to do the level one because man i just don't have energy to do four days of of learning right now what a okay, okay i'm gonna interrupt you because i'm sure that sounds like your sister in denmark she was only coming for level one and then and then she dropped everything and signed up for level two because she couldn't leave without having the rest so 
And that's what Sorry, I, want. I, I hijacked your question. No, 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 no. That, but that does, the, I've seen that. And I mean, obviously my sister, you know, she's traveling to another country. So she had to make plans as far as staying in another country extra time. And, <laughs> but I've seen it just over and over and over again. Anybody but, but, but who I've seen, that's what we've been, that's what we've been, we've been discussing. And it, which is really, I think, I think this round, we're doing four days. I, I'd love, yeah. I'd love to say you're welcome just for level one or just for level two. I, I, I want you there for four days because because the four days goes into eight weeks. And and so jumping in halfway through is not going to work. Jumping out halfway through is not going to work. So it is an experience. What 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 we're doing here, and it and and I can pretty much guarantee that this is going to be the, the most amazing thing that you've experienced. And well, at least you and me, it's going to be the most amazing things that we've experienced putting this together and, and hell, everyone's invited. But, but if, if, if we can do that, so, so, so for, the, for the people who are like, like wanting to dip their toes, jump in. For those who have already done the work, who go, oh, I, I, Doug, I just want to do level two because I come do level one. I am different. I am going to bring different and the value that you get is there. I promise you it's got to be relevant to the world right now is in a really weird and wacky place. So the conversation we had five years ago is not relevant for the environment we're playing in now. So if you don't, if you haven't adapted your language your thinking and your system to the environment that we're playing, in, you know, the simple thing is we went from this, insanity of COVID, and it was insanity because we couldn't understand it. Simple. And just as we're reaching the point where we go, okay, we can put that down. Not quite, but almost. Suddenly, there's the next crisis. And, and, the, the, and, and, and the thing is, our bodies are already exhausted. And now you have a crisis that war, potential war, is a call to action, right? It actually requires something of you. COVID required you to stay at home. <sighs> okay. Now there's a call to action. Jeez, dude, you know, do you not know that military service requires training before you go do stuff? And I'm exhausted and I'm, yeah, our systems are overloaded. And, and it's unfortunate. And that's why, I, that's why at the start we said, maybe we need to actually re recognize that the next 10 years are going to be chaos. Let's plan for that. That's... well. I think, you know, the, the thing you said, I think exactly is, I think making this, you got to, you got to be all in for this because the four days leads into the eight weeks. I, I think for those people who have gone through and done that, the point is it's the old saying, a man can never stand in the same place in a river. One, because the river is always moving Two, the man's never the same. And for people who've gone through God, this I'm river. Sorry, 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 JL. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit thrown because I'm not even sure you're allowed to use rude words like that anymore. Man, yeah. Yeah, Yo, well, you, you did it again. Yeah. Not, not, but I, I say that to be kind of funny, but here's the thing. So aside from all the other stuff, we've also have to learn to be careful so that we don't offend. So here, here would actually be a little disclaimer warning. If you are easily offended this be activated workshop series not for, you. not for you not for you not for you you are going to be offended and so if you don't want to be offended please don't join us we, we you, this is not for you it's not a judgment it's just not for you we, we want I think, people yeah. who are willing to take the leap and are willing to move the needle and 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 you and and we will meet you there yeah yeah and i i couldn't agree more as far as the energy that you're bringing now versus the person I met six years ago versus three years ago when you were here. And so I'm super excited personally. Obviously, I'm, I'm hosting you. I'm having you over. We're going to be in Columbus for four days. We're going to be in San Diego for four days. What I'm most excited for is that I know from us communicate as much as we do where you're at. So I know personally, I'm going to learn so much from our time together and from going through those courses. So, you know, I, I'm super excited. I can't wait. I, I think that for people who weren't sure, 
I, I think there's no better time in life than to go through be activated with everything going on in the world. So um, I, I'm just super pumped and can't wait. Whew. Sweet. Dude, awesome. I, I can't wait. So I'm, you know, we will, we'll just keep building this. And uh, yep. for everyone out there, we'd like to see you there. Remember, easily offended, I'm not talking to you. Right. <laughs> All right, brother. Have a good one, man. It was great talking to you. Awesome. Thanks, Joe. Take care.